back to my channel. So today I want to talk about this man right here. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen this man. If I've seen him, I mean in your dream. He only appears in people's dreams. Back in January 2006, during a psychiatry session, a woman was asked to draw the picture of the man that keeps appearing in her dreams. And as she was drawing the picture, she was explaining that every time he appears in her dreams, he gives her advice about her private life. But the creepy part about this is that she claims to have never seen this man in her life ever now they say that when people appear in your dreams it's usually referring to you that that person is you it's your subconscious talking to you on choices and events that are going on in your life that makes sense right well that's all fine and dandy until doctor left the picture on her desk a few days later one of her patients recognizes the man in the picture and he was shook claiming that he knows this man that he is from his dreams but has never met him in real life either at this point the doctor was like what the hell is going on so she sends the photos to other doctors that she knows and four of their patients claim to have seen the man too. As of right now, nearly 2,000 people have claimed to have seen this man in their dreams. And it's not in this one city, it's not in one state, it's not in one nation. It's all over the world. He is known as this man. Now there's many theories on who this man is. The first theory is that he's an archetype. And this will make sense because he is the image or collective consciousness that surfs the waves of our dreams, helping us with our hardships in our lives and the issues that we suffer from every day. But how could this be the same man? Now I don't want to step on anybody's toes or insult anybody's beliefs. These are just theories and fun entertainment. This theory is that he is the creator. This is the religious theory. The religious theory is this is God presenting himself to us this way in our generation. And the words that he speaks to us in our dreams we should take to heart and follow them by the book. This is hard to believe, even for me, and I believe in everything. Now this theory is more human supernatural than anything else. He's basically a dream surfer, like in Rick and Morty and the Supernatural series. I don't know if you've ever seen it. He's basically just some man who stumbled upon or found the secret scientific formula to dream jump in other people's dreams, but he got caught. This last theory is the imitation theory, basically kind of like the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect is real. What I mean by this is kind of like the Mandela effect, is that people find this story so intriguing that when they're exposed to this creepy story, they want to be a part of it, subconsciously, not even knowing. So they start actually dreaming about it, or they replace the faces in their dreams with this person right here. And it sits there in their subconsciousness, and then they become part of the conspiracy of this man. Now here's the creepy part. So far, no one has been identified or resembles this man in any way on the planet. Could it be an alien? Aliens do exist. So what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen this man? Could he be walking around your dreams without you even knowing about it? Well, there you go. Here's something for you to think about before you go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this creepy theory. And if you like this creepy theory, give me a thumbs up so I would know. Also hit the subscribe button along with the bell notifications to know when I post new videos. See you later, guys.